with this 23 the Philippine Embassy in Port Moresby today announced their support for earthquake-affected areas with Ambassador Bienvenido V. Dejano presenting 56 metric tons of rice from the Philippines to the Emergency Disaster Restoration Team. Hope, uh, this could uh, mean something to them, especially those that have been suffering with uh, food shortage. It is always our uh, desire and passion to be able to be of help, especially Papua New Guinea is our closest ally here in the Pacific. According to emergency controller Dr. Bill Hamblin, the rice has already arrived in PNG and will be distributed to the earthquake affected areas. Rice has uh, landed at the port of Malay, has been cleared and is currently on its way to uh, Mount Hagen from whence it will go to uh, Hatari and to, uh, uh, to Mendi, so the, the two affected provinces. So we're looking at uh, providing that rice to the most affected people. Uh, some of it will be headed towards Kudabu because there's some uh, real requirements there and we're picking up other areas that have, haven't been covered effectively to date. So that In a separate presentation, Grand Columbia Limited presented 50,000 kina to the EDRT. The donation acknowledges that the earthquake victims still need assistance even four months after the disaster. Uh, we understand that while um, the disaster happened a long time ago in some people's eyes, there's a lot of people that still live there at the moment that have need uh, fixing of crops, housing, uh, general well-being improvement. So the Grand Columbia group of companies in who's been a partner in Papua New Guinea for over 25 years now, believe it's an appropriate time to assist the government. Dr. Hamblin has given an assurance that the money will go towards purchasing starter kits for quake victims. For the handover of a donation towards the earthquake appeal, once again uh, we're seeing uh, private enterprise and PNG uh, come together with government to uh, assist the people in the earthquake uh, affected areas. So I'd like to welcome uh, the... Lilian Soperakinea, National MTV News.